Welcome, FPV pilots, to another deep dive. You spend hours, right, perfecting those builds, tweaking settings, mm -hmm. all for that perfect, buttery, smooth, cinematic shot. And uh, you know that a tiny thing, the ND filter, is key. Absolutely crucial. But the market's just flooded. How do you, like, cut through all the noise and find what actually works for you? Yeah, that's exactly the challenge, and that's what we're tackling today. We're going deep on ND filters, specifically for the DJI 04 Pro Air unit. Okay. We, here at Sky FPV, we've put a bunch of them through some really rigorous testing. Basically, boil it all down to the key info you need. Help you make smart choices for your build. For sure. And this wasn't just, like, a quick look at the specs. We tested eight popular sets, brands you know. Right. DJI, iFlight, Camera Butter. Beta FPV, Jet PRC, Flywoo V2, Freewell, GoPro Flywoo, all the big ones. And we used six key criteria to really compare them properly. Six things that really matter, yeah. Exactly. We looked at the ND stops they offer, the fit, super important, vignetting, flare, uh -huh. their weight, obviously critical in FPV and even the case usability. How practical are they? It's a lot to unpack, but yeah, we found some pretty interesting stuff. Definitely. All right, let's get into it. Starting with the options, ND stops and uh, the big one, fit. Okay, so ND stops. Think of them like sunglasses for your camera, right? Controlling light. Yeah, getting that nice motion blur even when it's super bright out. Exactly. You need it for that cinematic look, controlling shutter speed. And what we found, camera butter, GPRC, and GoPro Flywoo really stand out. How so? They give you a full range, four different ND stops, plus a UV filter. That's a lot of versatility for different light. Okay, so more options there. But then, the fit. This seems to be where things get... Uh... Tricky. Yeah, the fit is off in the wild card. Okay. And the DJI 04 Pro camera, mm. it actually throws a curveball here, something a lot of pilots might not even realize. What's that? Well, the camera comes in two slightly different diameters. We're calling them small and large. Wait, really? Two sizes? Yeah. They look identical on the outside, 22.3 millimeter outer diameter. But the inner diameter, where the filter actually sits, that's different. Yeah. 20.1 millimeter for the small, 20.3 millimeters for the large, just 0.2 millimeters difference. Wow, that's tiny, but crucial, I guess. Totally crucial. Like putting the wrong size ring on, you know, it'll fall off or just won't fit. Could even damage things. Okay. And interestingly, the large seems to be more common over in Europe, so you really need to know which one you have. Right, so if you have the small 04 camera, that's the 20.35 to 20.45 millimeter inner diameter range. Yeah. Which ones fit best? Our tests showed DJI, Beta FPV, Flywoo V2, and Freewell are ideal for that small size. Snug fit, reliable. Gotcha. And for the large camera, yeah. the 20.55 to 20.65 millimeter one. For that one, we recommend Camera Butter, iFlight, again, Freewell. They seat properly on that slightly larger housing, no wobble. Okay, so Freewell works for both. That sounds useful. Yeah, Freewell is actually that kind of standout winner just for fit. It's got this flexible mounting and a two-sided snap-on thing. It means it fits optimally on both the small and large cameras. That adaptability is huge. Takes the guesswork out. Definitely a plus. Yeah. And what about the GoPro Flywoo ones? You mentioned them. Right. They have a specific niche. They're great for both naked 04 Pro and naked GoPro setups. You know, when you strip the camera the down. Weight saving, yeah. Exactly. They press on with a simple rubber ring, but it's surprisingly secure. Good for those minimal builds. Okay, but what happens if, you know, you have a filter? and it just doesn't quite fit right, or it gets loose over time. We've all had that panic. Oh, yeah. Seeing your filter just tumble away. Nightmare. Nightmare. So any tricks? We got some tips from Gamera Butter and Beta FPV, didn't we? The top of them falling off. We did. First thing, and this is basic but important, install it correctly. Don't just jam it on. Right. Insert one side first, gently align it, then flex the other side into place. Avoids damaging the plastic, gets a better initial seat, Makes sense. A little finesse. Exactly. Now, if it does get loose over time, like from taking it on and off, don't just toss it. One trick is a tiny, tiny speck of super glue. Not on the filter, obviously. Whoa, okay. Hi. Put a minuscule dot on, like a pencil tip. Transfer that dot to the little indent on the lens hood. Let it dry. Creates just enough friction. Hmm. Precise. Very precise. Or a less extreme method lots of pilots use. Mm hmm make a little leash a leash like for a surfboard kind of thin dental floss fine fishing line tie one end to the filter the other to a standoff on the frame oh simple fail safe it works prevents it from flying off completely if it does pop loose okay i like that one and you mentioned heating that sounds a bit wild it does but it can work 
If it's just slightly loose, use a heat gun carefully on a low setting. Warm the camera housing just a bit. Uh -huh. As it heats, it expands slightly. Then when it cools, it contracts and tightens around the filter. Restores that snug fit. Wow, like science magic. Pretty much. It's all about getting that connection solid, especially yeah. when you're flying fast or through rough air. Totally. Okay, so that's fit sorted. Let's talk image quality. Vignetting and flare, the stuff that really affects your footage. Right. Vignetting first, that darkening in the corners. Yeah, it kind of ruins the look sometimes. Yeah. Makes it look less pro. Exactly. The good news, some filters are really good at minimizing it. Our tests showed DJI, iFlight, and Camera Butter were the clear winners here. Minimal darkening, even on wide shots. Minimal, yeah. Both ultra-wide and wide formats. Really clean across the frame, which is what you want for that pro look. Unlike some others, I guess. Yeah. Others showed some, or even strong, vignetting, mm. especially in corners and sides. Distracting. Okay, good to know. The lens flare. Flying into the sun. Always a challenge. Always. You get those streaks, those weird circles of light. Kills the vibe sometimes. It really can. But again, some filters handle it better. Camera Butter and Freewell were the champs here. Minimal flare, even on naked setups. Yeah. Consistently minimal flare on both naked O4 Pro and naked GoPro tests. Much cleaner image, even with the sun right there. Nice. While others... Mm -hmm. Others showed some or even significant flare. Sides, corners, it pulls focus. So if you want clean shots in tricky light, Camera Butter or Freewell are your best bet. Okay, performance covered, fit covered. What about the practical stuff? Weight and the case they come in. Crucial for FPV, you're right. Mm -hmm. Every gram counts, especially if you're chasing that sub 250 gram build. Definitely, big differences here. Huge, the lightest we found, Flywoo V2, just 0.53 grams, tiny, mm -hmm. Wow. made of plastic. DJI and Freewell were also super light, 0.66 and 0.67 grams, also plastic. So those plastic ones are the lightest options. Good info for optimizing flight time and staying under limits. Absolutely critical info, but it's not just the filter weight. How you carry them matters too. Right. Fumbling with a bad case in the field is a pain. Scratched lenses, no thanks. Exactly. And this is where GoPro Flywoo really nailed it, we thought. Best case. Yeah. Compact, transparent case. Fits four NDs perfectly. Being transparent is key. You see what you need instantly. No opening multiple boxes. Right. And it's small fits easily in your bag or pocket. Some other cases were okay, but maybe not transparent or just bulky. Not ideal. Gotcha. Okay, so pulling it all together yeah. after all the tests, the weighing, the staring at footage, yeah. what are the Sky FPV takeaways? The big recommendations. Right. The final scores based on everything fit, optics, weight, case, camera butter came out on top, scored 2.5 out of 3. Solid performer. Really solid. But Freewell and GoPro Flywoo were right behind, both scoring 2.3 excellent alternatives with their own strengths. And you mentioned some standout features, yeah, like the glass or warranty. Yeah, worth mentioning, Camera Butter uses Corning Marilla glass, super durable, scratch resistant, peace of mind. Nice. And Freewell offers a lifetime warranty. That's pretty amazing value. Can't argue with that. And price-wise, yep. are we talking big bucks? Generally, they range from around $20 up to maybe $79. So good options across different budgets. Quality is accessible. Okay. Now, how does this tie into the Sky FTV stuff? Yeah. Our kits. Right. Because we design our kits thinking about these components. Our Sky FPV Naked 04 Pro Kit V1, V2, V2 Ultralight. It saves you a ton of weight, 11 to 18 grams. Significant. Huge. It's compact, works with O3 frames, and crucially, it has built-in ND filter support. We plan for it. Makes sense. Yeah. And for the Sky 35, our sub-250 build with the Naked GoPro and 04. Same deal. The Sky FPV Naked GoPro kit for the AOS 3.5 V5, the Sky 35. We include any filter mounts for both the Naked 04 and the Naked GoPro. So you're covered either way. Exactly. Seamless integration is the goal. No cobbling things together. Okay, so if someone is flying a Sky 35, any specific ND recommendations based on this testing? Yeah, we broke it down into maybe three main options, depending on what you prioritize. Yeah. Robustness, weight, or versatility. All right, option one. Robust. If you're using the original CNC aluminum camera cage for extra protection, go with two O4 Pro NDs. We'd recommend Camera Butter for performance and durability. Alternative. iFlight is a solid second choice there. Okay, option two. Chasing minimum weight. Then you use two GoPro NDs with our lighter Sky FPV 3D printed camera cage. That shaves off another four grams. Which is a lot at that scale. Huge. For that setup, GoPro Flywoo is the way to go. Got it. And the third option, 
versatility. Mix and match. Use one GoPro ND and one O4 Pro ND. Let's you adapt to different shots, different conditions. Best of both worlds. Kind of. For that mix, we'd suggest GoPro Flywoo for the GoPro filter and Camera Butter for the O4 Pro filter. Gives you maximum flexibility. Allows you to really dial in the look for any specific flight or lighting. Precisely. Maximum control over your cinematic output, adapting to your vision. Okay, so wrapping this up, we've basically laid out a roadmap, right? Based on all our testing here at Sky FPV, helping you choose the best ND filters for that O4 Pro. Yeah, trying to cut through the confusion, give you actionable insights from all that data. So here's something for you, the listener, mm -hmm. to think about. Mm -hmm. Given everything we've talked about, the tiny differences in fit, the weight, the optics, how might really optimizing your ND filter choice do more than just make your footage look better? Yeah, that's a good point. Could it actually subtly change how your drone flies, mm -hmm. open up new creative avenues for your next build just by picking the right filter. It's definitely more than just a piece of glass. It's part of the whole system, something to consider. Absolutely. Well, until next time, keep flying, keep experimenting. And keep getting those amazing shots.